After a long drive, Maya and Uncle Greg arrive at Scarecrow's Plough, a large farm that has all kinds of plants and animals. They provide the food and materials that are sold by the farm. Greg is just as excited as Maya. He'll finally get to see where the local wood he uses for building comes from. Welcome, my fellow scarecrows, greets their tour guide. I'm not a scarecrow, I'm a person, exclaims Maya. Ha ha ha, laughs the scarecrow. That's just what we call our visitors, he chuckles. Come along now, we have much to see. The scarecrow takes the lead, walking on his crunchy straw feet. First up, we have our lovely black and white dairy cows. These girls are very clever. They eat grass and then make milk. Amazing! And over to the left, you'll see our brown beef cows. These are the ones that give us meat for our hamburgers. Wow, gasps Maya. I didn't know we used two different types of cows for meat and milk. They sure are different. Of course, all our cows need food, water, air and sunshine to be happy. Next up, we have our gorgeous woolly sheep. These animals can give us both meat and wool. My jumper is made from wool, pipes up Maya. Do the sheep ever wear jumpers on cold days? No, they don't need to. Not when they have their woolly coats, replies the scarecrow. But they still need nice warm sunshine like all other animals. And don't forget their food and water. My sheep love munching on grass every day. My favourite dinner is roast lamb, mentions Greg. With potatoes, adds Maya. Mmm, yum, says the scarecrow, rubbing his straw belly and thinking about a delicious roast. Anyway, back to the tour. Next, we'll look at our cotton crop. Those marvellous plants produce fibres that we use to make fabrics for clothes and other things, like bedsheets. We need to be careful when we look after this crop. Cotton plants need a nice, even, warm temperature, lots of good soil for food and only just enough water. <laughs> <laughs> 